The 1996 season is officially off and rolling. Bobby Labonte's Daytona 500 Triumph has been the talk of the entire sport over the last week. Staggering from the doubts of why a driver is in such a ride to being rumored to go to Jack Roush in 1997, Bobby Labonte is hot on the market right now. But one driver who isn't is Terry Labonte. He finished 35th last week, but now he sits on the pole, trying to reclaim a season that has already started off rough at Rockingham. He's one of many that hope their 1996 season actually starts today, as it is still anyone's to claim. This year's race at Rockingham is only a 400 mile event making moves much more crucial early on. Terry, Davey, Allison, and Ricky Rudd break free after lap one. Davey through the first 10 laps stocks Terry as the top five cycle out to Labonte, Allison, Rudd, Irvin, and Earnhardt. On lap 20, Davey moves to the outside and gets side by side down the back stretch. Proves to be fruitless and Labonte holds on till pit stops. Davey is the first to come down on lap 25 with Terry staying out one lap longer and pitting on lap 26. Jeff Burton stays out two laps longer and then hands lead over to Davey Allison who's gotten the undercut on Terry. Davey is able to hold on and win comfortably over Terry for his 35th career win. Terry claims second, Rudd third, Earnhardt fourth, and Jimmy Spencer fifth. Ernie Irvin gets his first top 10 with his new Yates team and Burton seventh. Jeff Gordon is eighth, Dale Jarrett ninth, and running out the top 10 is winner Bobby Labonte. And after two races, here are your points. Hendrick locks out the front row at Richmond, with the reigning champion on the pole. His championship rival from last year sits behind him, and on a warm March day in Virginia, we go green. Through the opening laps, Jeff establishes himself out front, with Terry close behind. Eventually Bobby Hamilton catches them and battles with Terry in the one. They stay running where they are, and eventually Davey Allison joins the mix. Third on back soon drop off, and once again, Terry is looking to pass his teammate. And finally, just past halfway, Terry gets under Jeff, and the battle is on. They run side by side, till Terry is finally able to clear with around 12 laps to go. Pit stops, however, on the horizon. And the first to pit is Terry with five laps to go. It's going to come down the fuel mileage, and who can get out first? Coming to four to go, Jeff and Davey pit, leaving only Ward Burton on track. He pits, and now it's going to come down between where Jeff cycles out compared to Terry. Jeff is easily able to beat his teammate off, but there's one problem. Davey Allison is two seconds ahead of Jeff. Jeff and Terry took two tires on that stop, while Davey only took gas. It put him four seconds ahead of Gordon, and while Jeff is nearly a second per lap faster, there's only three laps to go. Davey is able to win his second race in a row and 36th career victory. He did it by just over two seconds on Jeff, and Bobby Hamilton finishes third. Musgrave ends up fourth, and Terry gets a top five. Rusty Wall sixth, Martin seventh, Labonte eighth, Burton ninth, and Dale Jarrett rounds out your top ten. Atlanta Motor Speedway is home to the fourth race of 1996. The Fords of Davey Allison and Mark Martin start 1-2, with Davey Allison looking to claim his third race in a row. Immediately, Terry goes for the lead and gets Davey. Terry is able to dominate the first eight laps before a caution is called. In the back, Rick Mass gets into Dave Marcus and puts the two of them in the outside wall. Field goes into split strategy, cycling Bill Elliott to the lead with Robert Presley in second. Terry and Ricky Rudd are the first two who pitted and restart third and fourth on lap 12. It takes a lot for them to blow past Bill and continue where they left off. Terry leads over his teammate Jeff Gordon now until another caution on lap 20. Steve Grissom dumps Morgan Shepard, collecting Steve Seligman as well. Everybody pits and now Bill Elliott and Presley will lead the field again, this time as lap cars due to pitting two laps before the caution came out. 
The nine-lap shootout leaders will actually be Ernie Irvin and Davey Allison, along with Rusty Wallace. Gordon and Terry will be fourth and fifth after the pit stops. Ernie on the restart tries desperately to charge through the lap cars, but Bill hangs tough. Jarrett fires past Davey, and now he's the inside of Ernie. And Dale Jarrett goes by with help from Terry, and now it's six to go. The five has time. He gets under Dale with five laps to go, and clears off a turn two. So does teammate Gordon. Now four to go, it's on. Jeff stalks him, but Terry gaps him by the time of the white flag. Down in the three, Jeff makes one last charge. But at the line, Terry holds on and wins his first race in 1996. Ted Musgrave finishes third to the Hendrick 1-2. And Ernie holds on to fourth with Dale Jarrett in fifth. Cope is sixth, seventh is Davey, eighth is Hamilton, ninth Burton, and tenth Ricky Rudd. Race 5 takes us to Darlington, South Carolina for another classic 400 mile race. Dale Earnhardt sits on the front row with last week's winner Terry Labonte to his outside. Dale is looking for not only his first one in 1996, but since rocking him in the fall of 1994. It has been 37 races, and on top of that, coming into Darlington, he isn't even top 10 in points. He's going to have to hold off the previous season's winners as we go green at Darlington. Dale clears and leads the first laps at Davey in second. And Dale leads the first 15 laps of the race till pit stops at halfway. Davey, who undercut him, is out ahead of Dale now. And it appears that Dale is going to have to chase Davey down with under 15 to go. With 11 to go, Dale is within half a second, stalking the 28. And lap after lap, Davey holds steady. With 6 to go, Dale sends it in the 3. They ride side by side with Davey rim riding. And he finally, off a of turn 4, clears with 5 to go. Dale resets and tries to chase him down. He tries him off at turn two with four to go. He pulls just ahead as they head into turn three, but Davy commits to the high side. They are neck and neck at three to go. But Davey just edges Dale at the line. They dive in the one, with Davey clearing once again. And with two laps to go, Dale is regrouping for one last charge at Davey. Coming to the white, he runs slightly lower than Davey, and is under him at the white flag. They both sail in the turn one, with Davey about to clear at the top groove. But off of two, Dale slams the gas, and nearly makes contact with Davey. It causes the 28 to check up, and Ernard clears down the backstretch. Dale yards Davey through 3 and 4, and the drought is finally over. Dale Earnhardt is back with a vengeance. It is his 66th career victory, and the people that had begun to doubt the six-time champion at the start of 96, saying that maybe like Petty, he had entered the twilight years of his career, have now all been assured that he has plenty left in the tank. The Intimidator is back. <laughs> 